a charcoal black facade sits boldly amongst Westbourne Grove's row of pastel toned townhouses. This statement home behind me offers so much more than you might expect when looking in from the outside. We're in an area known for its vibrant beauty and today we'll explore this remarkable property that's on the market for eight and a half million pounds and listed with Bart at Dawson Barker. Let's show you guys around. Today, Tom and I are gonna explore not just this home with you, but the whole area. So make sure you stay tuned later on in the video. We're gonna walk around, check out the cafes. It's all about location. So this home is actually over six stories. It has a lower basement all the way to the very top floor, and we're gonna explore it all with you. So I wanna show you everything that I'd wanna see. So we're on the road here, but I do wanna show you the street because that is what it's all about. We've got all of the different tone townhouses up behind me in that direction. So many shops and restaurants that you might recognize. And we'll turn all the way around and look back at the property we are going to see today. Looks absolutely incredible. We chose to wear the all black to match the home and come on through. So you do have parking for one car here at the front. We do a lot of London townhouses, as you guys know. And one of the things you always say about is, well, at that price, there's no parking. Well, look, you have parking here and we've actually parked on there so you can show you, you can use it. Then if we come this way, this is the pedestrian access right here. Something I really like and I wanna show you, it's quite cool. So obviously it's a terrace property, it's a townhouse, it is attached. So they have painted half their side in the charcoal black and the other side is white, but like that's a perfect line on all of these. So fair play to the painter on that job. We've got some storage here, come on up. You can see more of the parking area. Now, just down there is part of the basement level. Now, this home has a swimming pool down there. Wait till you see that. It is definitely not what you might think a swimming pool would look like in a home like this. It's incredible. So come on up, let's head up the steps. We're going to keep everything rolling and show you guys inside all the way up. So this is the raised ground floor. I'm gonna start with this window here, framing the beautiful streets that way. Now, the owners have recently taken some of the furnishings out but I want you guys to keep watching because it's well worth your time just to see how amazing each of the floors are. It's been fully renovated. We have the marble below the fireplace there, big feature wall with a mirror on, but it is all about this section. So we have the glass balustrades overlooking the lower ground floor. Look at the size of those pieces of glazing. Now they are actually doors. Whoa. And later we're gonna open them. Yeah, so it's like 10 meters. And you can actually stand up there too. Can you see that on frame at the moment? Yeah, 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 you can see it. We're gonna go up there and stand and have a look down. And this center here to get the planning permission for this now in one of these houses is not so easy. So it's a very rare part of properties on this location. And can we take a minute to appreciate the chain details on that chandelier? Very impressive. Now we're gonna head straight down here. Um, very interesting feature piece here. Take a look at that and let's head down the floating marble staircase. Yeah, that's right. This staircase is made of marble. Now you know why we're talking eight and a half million pounds. That brings us to the lower ground floor where we have the kitchen. Now you can actually access this from outside if you wanted to, but look at the amount of white marble here. Now you have to let me know guys in the comments, are you loving this marble? Is it not your style? Let me know down below. We have chef grade appliances here, the Gaganau cooktop, as well as the Miele appliances. And if Tom and I show you this, what do you think of this cupboard design, Tom? Very seamless. So you can tuck that away. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I suppose it means you can have all of those real industrial style appliances, but you don't have to look at them. Yeah, true. Yeah, I like that. I like the fact that they've book matched the marble here because this is where you're gonna see it mostly. You know, from the balustrade up there, I mean, to book match marble just raises the cost significantly, but it looks so good. And like we said, about 10 meters up to the skylight above. Should we show everyone these doors? Yeah, go and crack them open. These are incredible. Let's look at this. I just have to remember exactly how to open them. Bear with me. <laughs> we could be here a while. <laughs> yeah, we could be here a while. Ah, oh, here we go, got it. Nice. Right. You ready? Look at this door. That's probably four times your height, Matt. Yeah, that's incredible. And there's two of them. Yeah. So this is your garden. I mean, look, we're in a very prime, popular area of London to have outdoor space. It's such a premium. And I like what they've done here. So they've gone for the white paint. You can imagine some nice you know, furniture out here when they have it in place. Very private with the high walls. 
what would you do out here? Let me know. Yeah. Maybe jacuzzi? Yeah. I suppose you got the pool downstairs though. Oh, that's true. Down there. Like, you can walk. At least if this glass fell through, I wouldn't feel so bad because there's yeah. a pool down <laughs> you'd land in the water, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's head back in through this giant door and keep exploring. Let me know, guys, in the comments, what do you think so far? We've spoken about it enough now. It's finally time to go check out that swimming pool I know you all want to see. Lastly, on this floor, there's an additional entrance from outside, a wine storage with bronze framing, a bedroom, and even a bathroom down there too. Now we're down in the basement level. We have the control four system here for your lighting. There's a bedroom and an ensuite behind Tom. Also a gym through here, views out onto the courtyard, and there's a Peloton machine in there. Come on through into this living area. It's so quiet down here. Like we're below street level. This is definitely where you come to relax. Two levels below down here. Yeah. Still some light though behind you. I'm getting a view of that pool. It's quite inviting. That's that skylight from the garden. Yeah. Look at the ceiling heights down here, even though we're on the basement level. Yeah. Now some more specs. This home is 3,310 square feet. We've only seen two of the floors so far, so stay tuned for more. But let's go in through here and check out this unique swimming pool. This is epic. It's like a chamber. You've got the shower just uh, above you as well. Shower there, bronze details. It's clad in marble, so this is actually all marble. I mean, you think of the cost of that alone. Then the skylight above that lets natural light in throughout the day. And then there's recessed lighting all around to give it that evening glow that you'd want as somewhere to relax. Speakers here too. Yeah, speakers there. Yeah. Lots of different lighting. Right, let's head up to the first floor. Moving up to the first floor, I want to show you the principal suite. It occupies the entire floor. Before that, we're going to step outside, which is still quite weird, onto this structural glazing. This is your terrace and a fine day to be outside here enjoying the weather. I've got a look down to the garden, give you a look around at your outlook. I want to show you a really cool house that we found, number 14 down there. Look, it's a house with parking next to it. Like a detached house. Yeah, it's very cute. Here really hidden away. I love Lovely. those hidden streets. Yeah. You know, those muse houses as well. Especially with the greenery on the roof. Yeah, yeah. as well. Okay, come back in. Let me show you this principal suite. Now we're gonna go through into the principal suite, which is introduced via this velvet sage green wardrobe. So let me know what you think to that if you're into interior design. Is it a yes, is it a no? Let me know. And then come on in. I'm gonna show you the bedroom part first. So this is the principal room. Use your imagination for the bedroom area, but it's all about the view. And there's something about being on the first floor where you just enjoy that incredible view outside. I open these up live so they do work and we can have a peer out and then what this treat looks like. Now, the ensuite in here is some of the boldest design that you might have seen. Real statement ensuite to match the style of the home. Bath in the center, dual vanity. We've then got the oversized rainfall shower. And look at this chandelier, it very matches the aesthetic of the home. French doors here, which can actually take us straight back out to the terrace. Come on through. Nope. Oh, I went into the shower if we could go through. <laughs> no, I'm not going through the shower, there's a toilet in the way there. <laughs> and then while we're here, we can look up at the next floors. We've got a camera here for security. Uh, so this is the first floor. The second floor has two further guest bedrooms and then you take steps up to the third floor. So six in total. Now let's go explore this area some more. Finishing today's tour off on the iconic Portobello Road. We've got the market going on, great buzz, lots of atmosphere. We grabbed a coffee from the organic store just around the corner, but we hope you guys have all enjoyed coming around this eight and a half million pound townhouse here on Westbourne Grove, which is just around the corner. Make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see more. I'll put another couple of videos on screen that I think you might like if you enjoyed this one. And let me know your favorite feature about this house in the comments below. For now, we'll see you all in the next house tour. Let's go.